Hello friends, uh, okay, so I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. We have an epic mail call. It's huge, it's massive, i got a lot to get through, so we're going to just kind of grind through it super quick. Um, hope everybody's having a great day, hope you had a good holiday, hope you're looking forward to the new year. I'm not because I have to work, but that's okay. New year, new you. Okay, so, uh... First thing, I got this little Digidesign uh, M-Box Mini. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's uh, basically just a like a recording audio interface. Uh, probably shooting in the wrong mode here, but anyway. So yeah, it's got a mic input, uh, line input, slash DI. Um, just need to use it for audio interface. I've tried multiple sound cards on my computer over here, and I've had no luck with anything um all my graphs come out funny so i have this like crappy laptop that's literally on its last leg and i've been using it for all my graphs and i'm sick and tired of it so i'm hoping that this will help me out um i bought it off ebay i paid like 20 bucks for it so um and it was free shipping so i can't complain it's you know anybody that's familiar with the mbox knows that it's a little old but they're built like a brick shit house and um yeah, they're really good. So, anyway, so that's that. And then we have a lot of IAMs here. We have a huge assortment. So, uh, first I'll show you these. So, these are new TRN ear tips. Uh, what are they? T, T, T tips. Tips. They're like, kind of like, uh, what do you call them? Spring tips. So they're a little bit like spring tips, look a little silicone-y, so not bad. Thank you, appreciate it TRN, you guys are awesome. Um, and then, so now we're going on to the IMs. So I have the uh, Jean Wu, Jean, Jean uh, can you guys help me, I'm sorry, I'm really trying here. Jean, Jean Wu, is that, is that right? Okay, so we got that, and then we have the C3. Um, the Xeon Wu is a hybrid planar. It's the SPD driver, if you guys aren't familiar. This is the SPD driver. Um, I thought that this used the SPD 2.0, but I don't think it does. I think it's just the, the OG. So anyway, I was hopeful, but whatever. It, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. We got the box here. We got the logo. Uh, on the back, it just says the name. Drawings may be different. Doesn't say anything on it. Just says a barcode. So, uh, take out the IEMs. They're okay looking. They're definitely built down to a price. Okay. Here, you know what? Give me one second. I'm gonna change cameras. All right, this is better. Cause now I can actually focus in on stuff. I couldn't adjust the focus when it was in uh, wide wide angle. So these are the IMs. You can see the face plates. Kind of cool. Interesting design. There's no no holes, no venting on the backs. Um, all the venting, I think. Is there even a vent anywhere? No way. Hold on one second. Okay, so there is no rear venting on this IEM whatsoever, none. Um, there is only, man, am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, there's only one vent that's like right there. You can see it's just a little teeny hole, so that's the vent for the SPD. But yeah, there's no, no vents anywhere on the back. There's no vents around the circumference. Uh, none by the plug. Normally we'd have like maybe a little vent below it, but nope. Only vent is the one right there, so they are not vented. So that will be interesting. Um, so yeah, one SPD and one um, BA. It's a 30095. So anyway, uh, let's take a look in the box real quick. So we got the IMs themselves. And then we have, let me focus down a little bit more. All right, so we got the little uh, quality sticker. It says that it passed inspection couple uh, manuals there and this just came off the cardboard okay let's take a look at the cable real quick and we'll take a look at the ear tips 
So you've got a few different ear tips. All right, so typical cable. Let's see what the hooks look like. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Definitely better than the um. What is it? The Warner. Yeah, definitely better than the Warner. So the hooks are tighter. Um, still a little big, but they're tighter, and uh, they're springy, but they're a little on the stiff side. Uh, cable braid looks good. Mm, L-shaped plug, and at least. At least TRN includes the Velcro strap. Um, I'm really happy. Any any IM company that includes the Velcro strap, you guys are awesome. Because uh, when you own enough IMs and enough cables, they it becomes spaghetti. Like it literally, it becomes this, and you just have it everywhere. So anyway, uh, and I definitely have a lot of cables. I actually. A lot of my IEMs, like most of my IEMs, I have a whole wall behind me, which I'll show you guys in a second. But this whole wall behind me, all the all the uh, boxes have, like, or most of them have the cables inside still because I just don't have enough room. Um, so no chin cinch, and the Y split is massive. So again, you guys don't need to make the Y split that that far. You know, this this is all you need. Like, nobody's head is this big. Like, see that? So, yeah, that's just too much. But, anyway, uh, cable manufacturers, take note of that. Just, it's nice to, you know, have a earphone fall out of your head and not have it hit the ground. Um, so let's take a look at the included ear tips. So, normal, let's see. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. Alright, so normal domed ear tip. Um, TRN tips are usually pretty good quality. I, I don't notice, like, really any um, imperfections. They're usually good at trimming off the excess and stuff like that. Some some companies, some ear tips, they'll have that, I call it, like, flashing. Um, it's like I showed you guys in the last video on the camper IMs. They're, um... What is it? Their uh, CP100 clone tips. They're like they have um, some like molding issues. So anyway, so that's the first one. Let's see what these look like. I really wish they would like come up with a better system for storing the tips. These little baggies are annoying. Okay, so same tips, just clear. Maybe, yeah, just that they're not as um, spongy. So this this black silicone is always a little stiffer, and these are not as stiff. So just a little more compliant. And then we have our last one here. Let's take a look at this. And these are interesting. There's only two in here. Okay, so we get an, yet another set of their T tips. Okay, so that's cool. So if you if you wanted to like. Um, you know, if you wanted to like hang on to these or like resell them or something, you could because with the um, Jian Wu, Jian Jian, I can't say it, but anyway, yeah, with the Jian Wu, you get um, you get an extra pair of the T tips. So pretty cool, and uh, looks like they're they're made very similar to Final Finals tips, much higher quality than uh, those other tips that I just looked at. So, yeah, much more uh, soft, much more compliant silicone. They got this weird, like, knurling on the end here. So that's what they call that. They call that knurling. And, uh, yeah, pretty decent. So, good, good uh, material. Actually, I'll put those on the IMs real quick. All right, six minutes in. Six minutes in. How am I doing? Am I doing all right? Are you guys bored yet? I had somebody tell me the other day. They're like, "You talk too long." Actually, it was today. They're like, "You talk too long. Make your video shorter, please." I'm like, "Dude, just use the fast forward button." <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like to edit very much because um, because the more I edit, the 
longer, more time it takes me. So, but anyway, that's what they look like with the um, T tips. So, pretty cool. They're they're they feel really good. They're um, a, like a sticky silicone, so they're kind of grippy. It's very nice. Let's just throw that all off to the side for now. Pack that up later. And then C3. Oh, yes, I've been waiting for this one. Um, so we'll we'll get into this. It'll be a short video later when I do a review of the C3. And you guys will see why. Um, they're not bad. I've already listened to them real quick. But th there's other stuff out there that just kind of beats them price-wise. So anyway, um, interesting shell design. It's not, not bad. There's a little bit of a wing there. Um, these, this part of the shell is very reminiscent to a, um, uh, Canera, like the, uh, what is it, the Canera, no, I'm sorry, it's the Shosie, like the Shosie Rouge, it's still Canera, it's the same company, but, yeah, it's a pretty universal shape as far as this part goes, and then it kind of changes up when it gets towards the back, so you got real carbon fiber inlay, uh, let's see if I can zoom in. So yeah, real carbon fiber. Come on. There we go. Looks good. Looks nice. Uh, connector kind of sticks out a little bit, but it's fine. It's just easier to assemble that way. Whenever they do like a flush style connector, it's a little harder to assemble. And when they can just stick the glue in there and kind of have it stick out a little bit, it's just easier. Uh, vent on the top, it looks like. So yeah, cool. Cool beans. And then we have... And somebody was asking for me to compare the, um, the T3 to the T2. Um, I did take apart one of the T2. Um, I can't really do like a, a comparison as far as imaging goes but I can at least uh, compare tuning and um, maybe maybe a little bit of layering but mostly tuning and dynamics I can't I can't really do imaging and layering without the, the other unit so that's the only downside to taking them apart that's why sometimes I'll only I'll only take one earbud apart so I can actually listen to I'll have one in one ear and one in the other and I'll even go as far as reversing ears even though they don't fit in that ear I'll, I'll like put them upside down and stick them in the other side so that way I can make sure that I'm not just hearing things uh, so you get quite a few ear tips very similar to the TRN tips that we just saw yeah they're no different they're the exact same thing so just cheap ear tips nothing special with the um, with the C3 but the cable, on the other hand, this cable is much nicer. Oh my god. This cable is beautiful. Look at that. So keep in mind when you're paying the little extra bit of money, it's that's going towards the cable. Because this cable is fantastic. Oh man, yeah. It's super soft. Very, very soft, very compliant feeling. The ear hooks are very nice. The ends are very nice. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. So yeah, so at least you guys know you get you get a really nice cable with this. Definitely much better than the uh, Xianwu uh, cable. The Xianwu is like just your cheap run of the mill like KZ um, lower end cable. It's not like your upper like higher end cables or mid tier. But this is more like something that you'd get with like a $100 pair of IAMs. Even like a $200 pair. So yeah, you got left and right on the bottoms there. Nice uh, silver conductors. You got the braids there. Beautiful milled uh, machined chin cinch with the TRN logo on it. Um, not sure about its functionality. It glides a little bit smooth. So that is yet to be seen. The divider looks like it is made pretty well. 
There's a little section there. It looks like they kind of had to cut off a little bit of flashing. See, bottom looks good. Braid looks good. And then let's just do the connector one more time. So you get the wrap. And then no no um, strain relief. That's the crazy thing. These really don't have strain relief. But yeah, that cable is gorgeous. I like that, that milling that they did. So yeah, super... Super duper cable, good on you, uh, TRN, I mean TRN, freaking uh, Tin Hi-Fi. Yeah, you guys did really, really good with that cable, so. Alright, so at least you know you guys get a fantastic cable with the um, with the C3. So, good cable, good tuning, all around very good IM. Um, Alright, so, the moment we have not all been waiting for, I guess I've kind of been waiting for, so if you guys aren't familiar, uh, we have our camper IMs. <clears throat> I just got the other two in. So we have our Joyful uh, 1 plus 2. We have our Joyful 1 and 1. And our Joyful 1. So this was the first one I got, which was the single DD. And uh, if you guys didn't see the last video, I'll just go over them one more time. Let's see, give me one second. There we go. So the face plates are stabilized wood. They look very nice. Uh, good, good build quality. Sorry, I was pl playing with the filter earlier, so it's coming off. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, I won't do sound impressions again today. This is just an unboxing of the other two. I just wanted to show off what they look like. Um, I, I will give brief in impressions just because I, I don't know how long these are on sale for. So I just want to get this out out there to you guys so you guys can uh, get an idea of what what they sound like and which ones are best um, I'll give you my personal recommendations and I'll put graphs on the screen so you guys can see which ones are best but real quick I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna just take you guys over to the computer here to show you something okay so the reason I've been talking about these so much is because because um, like I said they're on sale right now I had uh, I read the comments and a couple people were asking me about them being on sale because they were saying no they're not on sale and um, somebody else had to bring them up so uh, anybody that's familiar with Amazon if you already have an Amazon account you already have a Prime account so this is pretty much for people that are just living in the U.S. Um, if you already have an Amazon account you know that pretty much you can shut sh eh, you can shop. Um, you know worry free from them so like if you have any issues you can always return it if you don't like the product you can return it it's not a big deal they don't give you any grief about it you just stop by a UPS store or whatever and you can ship the package back and they give you they refund your money pretty much the same day uh, if you have it sent to your card or whatever then it takes about a week but usually if you you know want to get something else you can just get your money back within a couple hours um, so that is why I've been going so heavy on these and talking about them uh, to people because they they really are a good deal. But I want to explain real quick how this works. So you guys see this 80% um, off coupon here. Okay, so you're going to go to the Amazon.com. You're going to look up Camper, C-A-N-P-U-R right there. Okay, so it's going to have this listing here. Um, it starts off with the 1DD2BA. And then you have the 1DD, which are the blue ones, like I was shown earlier. The 1DD 1BA, okay, that's the green ones. And then this piece of crap right here, okay. So these are the ones that I was saying look like the uh, SG003. Um, but yeah, don't don't get them. They're not good. Don't, just don't even worry about them. Um, and I will go as far as saying the 1DD uh, is only going to be for people who really like mids. And they only sound good if you're using um, like reverse star lines or if you're using spring tips. They have to be wideboard tips, and you're still going to have to EQ them a little bit. But if you do, they they scale super well with volume, um, but they're not the smoothest listen. They're still a little bit harsh. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys. So this is how it works. Uh, so let's say we got the 1DD2BA. So we're going to click on apply 80% coupon and of course you're going to have to sign in. Uh, I don't know if I can do that or not. Uh, give me one second. Okay guys, 
So basically, uh, so once you click on the, the coupon there, you're going to go over here to the um, add to cart, all right? And you're just going to add it to your cart. You're not going to add protection unless you want to. Um, and then you're going to go to uh, checkout. I just don't want to show certain things, but yeah. So you're going to proceed to checkout. Okay. And, and basically, that'll be your order total right there. Okay. So it'll apply the coupon, and then you'll have your total. But you have to... Um, see, does it show anything on here? No. So basically, you have your... Um, your original price and then it'll have the discounted price and then you choose your delivery options and you can do this um, over and over and over again so let me just pause for a second alright so anyway so you can you can do this multiple times it's not a big deal um, if you wanted to get all three which is basically what I did you just have to do them one at a time so you click on the item you want wait for it to load and then apply the coupon and then sign in and then once you sign in um, it'll apply the coupon for you and everything and then you're all set and then you, once you cash out you just do it over and over again and that is basically it so I'll take you guys back over here alright so what are these about uh, let's go over this real quick um, so the, the like I said the, the 1DD these guys here, they're okay. So about this brand, let me just put it this way: they're not the best at tuning. They have issues. They are not worth the regular price, the 109, the 129, the 879.99. Okay, they're not worth that price. But the sale price, absolutely, they are very good for the price. Are they competitive with other IMs in the price range? Yes. Um, are they going to match the tuning of, say, like Warner or uh, KZ, CX, what is it, CXS? No, they're not going to match the tuning. They'll be similar, but they have little issues here and there, okay? And I'll, I'll put the tuning up on the screen. I'm not going to go into detail talking about the tuning and whatnot. I'm just going to tell you which one I like best, which one I recommend to what kind of person, and if you are that kind of person, then I recommend that you go out and get a pair. And like I said, the reason why I'm actually pushing these right now is because they are on sale. I don't know how long the sale is going to last. I have no idea. So, you know, the sale could be gone tomorrow. It could be gone a week from now. It could be gone whenever they run out of stock. I don't know. But the only reason why I'm recommending them is because they're really cheap. They're risk-free. Like I said, if you don't like them, you can just return them, get another one, that kind of thing. Like, I, I literally just bought a second pair of these because I'm taking these apart and well, I'm taking all of them apart but I bought a second pair just so I can have another pair you know whenever I take these apart because I would still like to enjoy them um, and then like I said they're so even if the tuning's not the greatest they're still very high quality IMs the face plates are really high quality the build quality is very high the, I'd say the weakest thing about the build quality are these mesh screens here that's probably the weakest part, but everything else is very good. And then, um, like I showed you guys in the um, unboxing before, you know, you get all these accessories with it too. You know, you get the case, you get the nice cable. Um, the cable is springy, it does have memory, so if you're the type of person that doesn't like that, then I would probably avoid, because it is not a soft cable. It is kind of a stiff cable, but it's very, very thin. Um, it is pretty compliant and it's great for like musicians or somebody who wants a really small cable and then like I said it comes with a cleaning brush it comes with a cleaning cloth comes with a, a nice selection of tips and the case so I mean for you know 23 bucks 27 bucks like honestly you, you can't go wrong it, it beats the hell out of a KZ so and obviously being a fellow audiophile I want you guys to have a good deal I want you to feel happy about what you have you know, if there's something cool out there. And that's another thing, too, is I really like these, like, unknown brands. I always buy, like, weird random brands or, like, IMs that I haven't seen before because I don't know, like, if they're any good. I want to know if they're good, and then I want to get the message out there so other people know if they're good or not. 
um, on my Facebook page, there's been a few times where I've bought no-name IAMs off Amazon, and I've let people know if they're good or not. Nine out of ten times, I know, I'd say like 50-50. 50-50, they're not so good, and then the other 50-50, they are pretty good. Okay, so that being said, if you're a vocalist, if you like mid-centric sounds, um, you can. if you like good dynamics, go for the 1DD, okay? If you have um, any kind of aversion to uh, treble, okay, if you're treble sensitive or if um, y you don't like kind of like kind of harsh timbre, don't get these, okay. They are a little bit harsh and the tuning is not good, okay. The tuning is very mid forward. They're not like a very smooth natural tuning, okay. They are very mid forward. Now, I will say this with the uh, spring tips, okay, or sorry, the reverse star lines and the spring tips, I don't know, anyway, you know what spring tips are, they do sound decent. That with EQ, these things are bangers. They scale very well with volume and the DD is excellent quality. They are very good quality DD. Um, like I said, the dynamics are good, the macro, um, what do you call it, like the macro details, some micro details are good, okay? For 17 bucks, you can't go wrong with them. Um, they are going to be the the most uh, treble friendly of the bunch. So if you are a person who is adverse to um, to treble, actually I won't even say that, no, because they, they are a little bit gritty. But they have the least treble out of the three, okay? So that being said, these are also the worst, okay? So just keep that in mind. These are the worst but they're also the cheapest, but they also have the best dynamics. Okay, worst tuning, best dynamics. Now, uh, let's move on to this guy right here, okay? I'm gonna finish with the one plus one. I'm gonna go on to the one plus two. This one is the best tuned of the bunch, okay? Um, and that is with an asterisk. They are the best tuned from one kilohertz up, okay, so the, the mids, the upper mids, the lower treble and the upper treble are the best tuned. These are the fullest sounding of the bunch, but they are also the most bloated, they have the most bass, and they have the worst bass quality out of the bunch, okay? So that's what I'll say about the one plus two. They are the most even as far as the um, tonality goes. Um, and as far as like uh, tuning, you know, not not having to EQ anything, these are going to be your best bet. So if you're looking for something that just sounds good out of the box, you don't want to deal with EQing it, you know, maybe just pulling down the bass by a couple dB, go ahead and get these. They're good. You're not going to regret it. Um, the only thing that might bother a couple people is the timbre. Okay, so they do have that BA timbre. It's not too bad. They they use decent quality drivers. They're not the best quality drivers, but they did use decent quality drivers, okay? So they they will sound pretty decent, but they're not the greatest. Okay, just just letting you know. Um but as far as something they would compete with, I don't know. They'd probably compete with um see that depends, because it's kinda like twenty twenty, maybe early twenty twenty one ish that these kind of fall into as far as like quality wise. Um, IMs come have come a long way very quickly, so but they're only twenty seven bucks. So like really, what more can you ask for? You know, it's just you're getting a three driver one DD two BA IM that's built extremely well, looks pretty, like it looks good. It's got a nice cable, nice case, ear tips for twenty seven bucks. Okay, so if the tuning's not the greatest, a oh, boohoo, you know, it, it's whatever. It is what it is. And then, like I said, same thing. If you don't like them, you can return them. It's Amazon. Just send them back, and you get your money back the same day. Okay? So, um, but yeah, so the, I have a graph on the screen there. You guys can see the graph. Um, but they're not bad. These are not bad at all. They're not my favorite, but that's that's it. Okay? But they are the best tuned out of the bunch, minus the bass. The bass is the most bloated on these. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, Alright, so as far as our last one, these guys right here, the one plus one, these are the most even keel, level headed of the bunch, okay? So these are very, like, kind of like honky, shouty, 
mid forward kind of sound okay um, probably the grainiest of the timbre not the most sibilant these are actually probably the most sibilant but these are probably the harshest okay the 1 dd um, but as far as the smoothest go okay is the one plus one these have the best upper treble not necessarily lower treble they have a weird kind of funky dip in the treble and there's a bit of unevenness there but they have the best bass they have the perf perfect bass quantity in my opinion okay um, the tuning is is pretty close to these but the tuning is just a little bit more recessed on these it's just a little more pulled back but the bass is also pulled back on these so in my personal opinion these are the very best these are the ones to go for the one plus one if you haven't bought them yet you're you're kinda on the knife's edge and you're thinking about buying them my personal recommendation is going to be the one plus one or the one in one okay these just have the most in whoa turn my volume up these have the most inoffensive uh, treble out of the bunch okay so most inoffensive treble they still have the same like vocal quality and whatnot the bass is not bloated the bass is is the best on these um, and the only reason why I say that and not these is because they have the same driver I can tell the bass texture and the bass quality is pretty much the same between these two um, the mids might be a little better on these but they're also wicked loud okay so that kind of kind of counts them out so but yeah the one plus one in my opinion is the best now one another thing that I'm going to say real quick before I, I let you guys go um, the best tips so you can see here I got a graph on the screen you can see all the tips that I put in there um, I got you know the the CP100 knockoffs that are in there I have the wide bore that are in there um, I got the foam tips that are in there I haven't really listened through the foam tips very much um, I did give them a quick listen um, and I listened to them through the wide bore that came with them I do not like them I don't like them okay in my personal opinion go with reverse star lines or go with the um, spring tips where the hell are my spring tips okay or go with spring tips and don't look back something that's like super wicked wide bore okay and something that is um, kind of shallow all right not like these 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 are too deep and they're just something about them they just don't sound good um, the spring tips if you notice in the graphs there the spring tips change the sound on these IMs the most out of any of the ear tips now I haven't graphed them with the uh, reverse star lines but I also don't really use reverse star lines in my graphs because they have a tendency of falling off the IMs um, but they've actually stayed on pretty well on these because um, they actually go pretty far up the nozzle because the nozzle is um, long so but anyway just to recap so the most mid forward probably also the most aggressive listen is going to be these um, the most the, the best tuned overall minus the bass because the bass is a little bit loud on them are these okay and then the most well-rounded like the the best the best uh, unit in the set okay in the set of the joyful series or whatever are gonna be the one plus one that's my personal opinion take it or leave it um, I know lots of people that got the one plus two I'm sure that a lot of them are gonna like them uh, that's one good thing about these IMs are the tips do kind of make a difference and so far what I've noticed is that they do take EQ pretty well so I will say that um, but that's as far as I'll leave it I don't want to get any deeper into listening or anything like that I might not even go very much further I probably just leave it at this and then the next video will probably just be a teardown and I might talk about them a little bit more so but anyway Hope you guys enjoyed the teardown. Um, eventually, I'll get to the um, review of the TRN. And oh, just another note: I purchased all of these IMs myself. Okay, none of these were sent to me. I purchased the C3. I purchased the Xianwu. Um, I purchased all of the campers. I actually bought two of these um, so I could take them apart. So. Um, not e-begging or anything like that, but I will put my PayPal in the description if you guys want to 
chuck in any money towards a teardown. Um, that is welcome. If you don't want to, your watching uh, is helping in itself and is pretty much enough in itself because um, I've already made 30 bucks off YouTube. So that's a pair of earphones, even though I spent like a couple hundred. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you pick these up, let me know what you think. Um, I saw one guy in the comments, he said he had all three and he said he liked the OnePlus 2 the best. And I can kind of believe it because, like I said, these are probably tuned the best out of all three of them. Um, there's a bit of an 8K spike in, in here, but I think some of it is the um, coupler. So, Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great evening. If I don't see you before in New Year's, I hope you have a good New Year's because I'm going to be wicked busy. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.